the evening before the race and storm clouds gather. Listen, this morning, as you might be able to hear, uh, we we're in rain at the moment. Uh, a front that we were expecting to come through around tea time last night didn't actually hit us till around 2 in the morning. So it still left us with quite a fair bit of rain. Um, we're just waiting now to collect the latest weather information via fax from the Bureau of Meteorology. The cars start on their 3,000 kilometre race from Darwin to Adelaide, a transcontinental strip of bitumen without a major crossroad. Six kilometres out, and Michigan has taken the lead. Close on their heels is Hoxham. Into you. Star, Peel and Crowder. The race was on. And Crowder was amongst the five front runners who passed and repassed each other throughout the day. stops for the night. Three, two, go! Well, I think it says that there's a lot of individuality and people testing different uh, different ways. It's probably like early aircraft. If you look at some of the early aircraft, it's amazing how different they were. And then finally you end up with one design which most people stick to. I think that's what will happen with solar vehicles. We'll find in five or ten years' time that there'll be basically a design which will be the optimum balance between weight and strength and, of course, the least drag.